Hey there everybody and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I've made cash envelope stuffing. I've been so busy. I've had so much traveling and just things going on in my life. So I apologize. So this is actually going to be probably my biggest cash envelope stuffing ever. I have $1,110 to put in my cash envelopes this week. And it's just because I've been slacking going to the bank. I did have to take some money out of envelopes because of Christmas and car and traveling and all that so my cash envelopes are a little bit slacking I feel like in certain departments but I am going to go through and stuff them for you and then I probably will do a tally for you on how much is in each envelope as well. So without further ado let's get started. First up we're going to do gas and this is going to be getting $120. Car is next, and this is going to be getting two hundred and twenty dollars. Car maintenance is next, and this is going to be getting sixty-five dollars. School is next, aka my loan, and this is going to be getting $160. Savings is next, and this is going to be getting $80. My emergency fund is next, and this is also going to be getting $80. Travel is also going to be getting $80. For hair, I am going to be putting in $105. Rainy day is going to be getting $20. Christmas will be getting $40. Health will also be getting $40. And then wedding will be getting the remaining $100. Car has $440. Which this also is going to be changing since both car payments are due in the next upcoming week. Car maintenance has $285. School, which is my loan, has $575. I haven't started paying on my student loans. I just graduated this past December. I wanted to accumulate at least having one extra monthly payment of my student loan before I started. So I actually technically don't have to pay until I think it's fall of this year, but I'm going to start paying in the month of February. 
savings only has the $80 we put in it today. As you guys know, I have a savings account with my fiance Charlie, and that's where this money goes to. It's saving up towards a house or just in general when we move out. So that I tend to put into our bank account every couple of months. So I just recently did that, which is why we only have the 80 we put in today. Emergency fund has $860. This I'm hoping to get up to a thousand in the next couple months. My fiance Charlie just accepted a full-time job. He was going to school full-time and working part-time, but he's kind of switching it up this semester. So he is actually going to start adding to this as well. We talked about wanting to really start off really well in our marriage with finances. So he's actually going to start helping with this, and I'm excited to see just how much we can get this up to this year. Travel has $530. I think I mentioned it in my last cash envelope stuffing, but I'm trying to plan a trip with a bunch of my friends, so that is pretty much what I'm saving for right now. Um, as you guys know, I just got back from my trip from Texas, which was already paid for, and then next week I'm leaving to go on a cruise, which is also already paid for, so this pretty much is just towards upcoming travel. Hair has $155. I had a bunch of people asking how much it actually costs to get my hair colored. It costs about $100 to get it done and then I tip my girl about $20, $25 depending. I do go a little further away so sometimes the hair money will go towards the gas towards that. But yeah, it's about $125 each time I get my hair done which is about once a month. Rainy Day has $32. Christmas has the $40 we put in today as Christmas just passed. And I ended up using a bunch more of my budget than I had originally had thought. Sorry if you can hear the background noise. It's currently snowing really bad where I live and that's the plow. So like I was saying, I totally spaced that I hadn't celebrated with my sister, her girlfriend, and my nephew. So I used up the rest of my budget on them. So we're starting fresh with $40. Health has $110. And some people have mentioned what this really entails, what is in health. That's just different copays. Like if I go to the dentist and I have a copay, which normally I don't. Um, if I ever have to go to the doctor, I do have a $30 copay. So that just comes from there. And in general, like eye exams, that kind of thing. It's just whatever really medical needs I have, um, it comes out of here. And wedding has $505. I am the only one contributing right now. I also had more money in here, but I did have to pay our deposit for a photographer. I paid for our sleeve of the dates, and then I also did my bridesmaid box. So that kind of all came out of there. So yeah, we're left with 505 so far, which our goal this year is to have by June um, $1,500, which would pay for our venue. So that is the goal for this year. We'll see. As you guys know, I'm not getting married till 2022, so we have plenty of time. That is it for this week's cash envelope stuffing. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, go follow my budgeting Instagram. I've been trying to post a little bit more frequently there since I had been kind of taking a break from YouTube a little bit. So definitely go check me out. It's at Sammy Renee Budgeting. I am going on a cruise next week, so you will have a pre-filmed video that will go up on either Monday or Tuesday. I'm still trying to finish that video up and hopefully have that scheduled for you guys. Other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every single week, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!